in this video we'll be talking about dipole moment where dipole moment is given the symbol mu kind of a squiggly looking m type shape there is the mu letter now mu is equal to q times r where q is the magnitude of the partial charge and r is the bond length or the length along the bond so in this question we we are being asked for the magnitude of the partial charges in HBr. So if I was looking at the molecule H bonded to Br, I'm being asked what is the dipole, what is the magnitude of the partial charges? So hydrogen is less electronegative, it's slightly positive, and promine is slightly negative because it's more electronegative. But the question is, what is the magnitude of the transfer? Now this is not an ionic compound. If it was, this would just be plus one and minus one. So this is only going to be a fraction. So I'm looking at this like one half or one third. What is the magnitude of the partial charge that was transferred? And that is Q here. Now our, the problem with this equation is that in order for mu to be equal to Q times R, the units of Q and R have to multiply together to get the units of mu. And we're given from the table that the bond length is equal to 1.41 angstroms and that then we're also told that the dipole moment is 0.82 dibis straight out of the table and that is our mu so these are not the units that we want here we're solving for q so if i rearrange this i can have q is equal to mu or my dipole moment divided by r my bond length so first off, we need to change these into the units we want them to be in. So angstroms is a unit of length. We want to change that into meters, so the SI standard unit. So an angstrom is 1 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. So 1.41 angstroms, this is R, times 1 times 10 to the negative 10 meters per angstrom. So angstroms will cancel, and I'll be left with 1.41 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. Now mu is in Debye's, and our book gives us that conversion factor, that 3.336 times 10 to the negative 30 coulombs times meters, so coulomb meters, is equal to 1 Debye. So Debye's will cancel, and if I do this across, I should get 2.74 times 10 to the negative 30 coulombs times meters. So now if I take these two numbers and I plug them in my equation, Q is equal to mu over R, I should get Q is equal to 1.94 times 10 to the negative 20. Now the meters and the meters here will cancel, so I'll just be left with this unit coulombs. So that is my partial charge. Now this doesn't look very much like a fraction. It's, it's certainly less than one, but magnitude of negative 20 is a tiny, tiny number. We're really looking for more like a fraction. Because what I'm looking for is what fraction of electron was transferred. So I need to change this unit of coulombs, which is a unit of charge, to how much of an electron is that? Back in chapter two, we learned that one electron has a charge of 1.6022 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And Willikin's oil drop experiment was how we discovered that. So if I divide by that number, 1.6022 two two times ten to the negative nineteen coulombs and that is the charge of one electron coulombs will cancel put this into my calculator and I will get point one two and that is a fraction of an electron how much of an electron was transferred so if I go back up here now I know the magnitude of these partial charges are positive point one two point one two and negative point one two these are the magnitude of these partial charges here. The question of what is the magnitude is 0.12 electrons. And then the partial charges are plus 0.12 in the hydrogen and minus 0.12 on the bromine. Likewise, I could give you 0.12 as the charge on the bromine and have you go backwards and figure out what the dipole moment then would be.